Okay, welcome back to our series on numerical analysis. Um, today we're going to continue our discussion on solution methods for approximating first order ordinary differential equations. Um, today we're going to be talking about the trapezoidal method. So just to recap, our goal here is to model the solution of first order ODEs, um, which typically have the following form, y prime being equal to some function of t and y with some initial condition y prime. Um, as an example, you might have y prime equals 4y minus t with an initial condition of y prime equals 2. And we're going to discuss this example a little bit further in just a minute. So the trapezoidal method, um, in order to really understand this, we need to recall the forward Euler method and the backward Euler method. So if we remember, the forward Euler method is an explicit solution scheme where our, our derivative is modeled as y of n plus 1 minus y sub n over delta t. Um, and then that's all equal to the function of t sub n and y sub n. And then the backward Euler method, we made the derivative term equals y sub n minus y sub n minus 1. And when we kind of changed our indexing scheme, our function ended up being evaluated at t of n plus 1 and y of n plus 1. So we ended up with this implicit scheme. Now the trapezoidal method is kind of a combination of these two derivative approximations. And we, give, we get the following formula. y of n plus 1 minus y sub n over delta t equals 1 half times the function at t sub n and y sub n plus the function at t sub n plus 1 and y sub n plus 1. So you can see it kind of looks like an average of the forward Euler method and the backward Euler method. It's not a true average because of the implicit nature of the backward Euler term, but we can think of it as a combination of the two in that sense. Now, if we rearrange those terms, we get the following general formula. y sub n plus 1 equals y sub n plus delta t over 2 times the two function terms. Now, just like the backward Euler method, this is an implicit scheme. What that means is if it's a, a linear ODE, we can solve it directly. But otherwise, we're going to have to use um, either an F0 or F solve command if you're doing this in MATLAB. We'll go through some examples of that in a future video. Um, unlike the forward Euler and backward Euler methods, this is a second order accurate method. So our local error is on the order of delta t to the third, whereas those two methods were only first order accurate. So the trapezoidal method is going to give you a better approximation of your solution. Now, if we take this example, ODE, y prime equals 4y minus t, and let's try to solve for an explicit solution with the trapezoidal method. We're going to start from our general formula here, just like what we just saw, and then we're going to plug in our function. So when we plug in our function, t sub n and y sub n, we get 4 times y sub n minus t sub n. And then we also have this plus 4y sub n plus 1 minus t sub n plus 1. So in order to get an explicit formula, we need to get this y sub n plus 1 term over to the left side. That's the goal here. So we'll start by expanding out our delta t over 2. So we get this 2 delta t y sub n plus 1 term minus delta t over 2 times t sub n plus 1. We're going to bring this term over to the left side like so, and then everything else stays on the right side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pull a y sub n plus 1 out of these two terms on the left and divide through by that constant, that 1 minus 2 delta t. And we end up with the following explicit formula. So y sub n plus 1 equals 1 over quantity 1 minus 2 delta t times y sub n plus delta t over 2 times 4 y sub n minus t sub n plus 1 minus t sub n. So when you're doing this in MATLAB, for example, you would plug in, you, you'd have an array of, of time values, all the time values that you're going to be solving your solution at. And you would plug those values in, and then you would have an initial y value. You'd plug that in, you'd be able to solve y sub 1. Then you'd use y sub 1 to solve y sub 2, use y sub 2 to solve y sub 3, and so on and so forth producing your whole solution. Now again, this only works if you have a linear differential equation, otherwise you're going to have to solve this implicitly. 
So just to summarize the methods that we have so far, we've got the forward Euler method, explicit scheme, the backward Euler, and the trapezoidal method, two implicit schemes, most accurate being the trapezoidal, um, being second order accurate. Again, the key idea here is that the trapezoidal method is a second order implicit numerical method for a first order ODE. It's more accurate than the forward Euler or the backward Euler. Um, and in the next lesson, we're going to talk about stability conditions for these three methods. So thanks for joining us. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for the next videos. Thanks.